It might not have been what you're looking for, but you're watching Dummy Core. Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream with your friends at Dummy Gore. I'm Devin. I think there's an Allison somewhere around here. What? Well, I uh I think Devin was introducing the uh stream, so What did you say, Kiefer? Sorry, I had Devin muted on accident. Oh, yeah, on accident. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Well, I'm Kiefer anyway, so hello. And I'm Allison. Oh, we're streaming? Wow. Now, we tried to play Knockout City earlier, and that didn't work out too well. I need a little bit of a palate cleanser after that, so we're going to do some jigsaw puzzles for you tonight. And, as usual, anybody watching is more than welcome to join them with us. I will have the link in the chat. There you go. So, feel free to join.
Okay, that might have been part of my problem. I, uh, I had actually had a different background on my screen compared to what's what you guys are seeing. So I think I was on the wrong link. Oh. Hey, what up? Hi. Hey, Mark. All right, well, we got the entire width of the puzzle now. Let's go ahead and stick this down here. How are you this fine Friday evening? Well, I just got home from a football game earlier, so I'm just chilling right now. How was that? Pretty good. We won, and it was our senior night, so very emotional. Congratulations. This is pretty relaxing, huh? Mm -hmm. We have a competition tomorrow. What kind of competition? Marching competition. Oh, that's right. I forgot you said something about you being in the band. Mm-hmm. We're going to Ariana tomorrow. Are you excited for that? Uh, no, I'm actually quite scared because my instructor changed like half my drill that I already had down and I messed up tonight and I'm probably going to mess up tonight because I didn't know where I was and I forgot an entire set. Oopsie daisy. Well, I'm sure you'll do great anyway. Certainly try. That's all you can do. Oh, Fire, who just joined the game, is my wife. Ah. Ah, who are these uh, characters, this picture depicts? This is uh, a commission we got a while back uh, from a friend of ours, of our two main characters in World of Warcraft back when we were playing it. 
the one on the left is my night elf hunter uh, Harvin, and um, the Draenei next to him is Quaternia, um, also a hunter. Oh, cool! You had a night elf Mohawk. Um, I'm not sure what you would call that, actually. Uh, it's an old Mr. T commercial. Oh, okay. Afraid that reference got went completely over my head then. Yeah, no, Mr. T used to be on a TV uh, advertising World of Warcraft, and he said his character was a night elf mohawk. Oh, I think I vaguely remember that now. Okay, the puzzle is uh, flying all over the place again. Wee. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. Yes? You left. Huh? You left. Yeah, I refreshed. I have to refresh it sometimes. Great. We're getting Whoa. there. Order's done. Yay. Only 290 more to go. Yay. Pressing the R key will shuffle the pieces. Does it just shuffle them for you, or does it shuffle them for everybody? Just you. Hmm, okay. That's very helpful. If you hold down the shift key while you press the R key, it'll shuffle all of the pieces, not just the ones that haven't been touched. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, I can barely understand you. It sounds like you have a really bad connection. Yeah, her internet breaks up sometimes. I'm doing my best out here, man. I know. We You're appreciate you. We appreciate you coming in and trying. The more the merrier when it comes to puzzles. Yeah. 
It just means we get to do more of them. Because they go by faster. We need to finish the puzzles we've got going in real life. We don't have room to do jigsaw puzzles in real life. We technically don't either. Not so much because we don't have the physical space, but because uh, we can't leave. A, we can't really leave anything unattended in our house for more than about five minutes without somebody trying to destroy it. Um, when you have five cats and two dogs, that's pretty bad. Don't sit right here. So the uh, the um, the hunter pets here were the ones that we had at our time uh, uh, that we had at the time too. I had a fire work and shoot, I don't remember what uh, I don't remember what Quaternia's uh, pet was. See, I didn't even know you could have pets in World of Warcraft, so that's pretty cool. That was specifically a hunter thing. Could you change your class? I think later on, uh, I think later on, Blizzard made it possible for you to do that. But um, generally, no, you would just stay with the one class. If you wanted a different class, you'd roll a different character. How many characters could you have? Mm -hmm. Or is it like starting a new save file? Well, no, they'd be registered online. So you had, I think you could have up to five. It wouldn't surprise me if more recently they may have uh, they may have made it so that you could buy more slots or something like that. But uh, we haven't played WoW in like I don't know, better part of ten years now, maybe. This was uh, this was when we were doing Wrath of the Lich King. We um, we stopped playing uh, shortly after uh, uh, Mists of Pandaria came out, and that's by now a pretty old expansion. And a lot of people told us that uh, the game actually became pretty interesting again just after we left, but we were like, no, we're MMO'd out. Back when everybody was playing World of Warcraft, I was playing Havre Hotel. We had a group of uh, uh, friends that uh, we, you know, friends in real life and everything that we got together every uh, Wednesday night. And did a bunch of dungeons and such, and uh, uh, started doing raids and everything. We got really into it, and Fire and I came. Fire and I uh, developed this uh, kind of tradition that it'd be Teriyaki Wednesday, or uh, or Wowiyaki, as we tended to call it. So we'd go get teriyaki from our favorite restaurant and uh, eat that while we were playing. That sounds cute. sounds like. Yeah. It's nice having a uh, uh, a gamer geek for a wife. Well, Allison wasn't at first, but I've kind of turned her a little bit. You know, that's funny. My wife said the same thing about... It wasn't me specifically, but uh, she used to uh, be... Uh, earlier on, she used to think that she was going to be um, against yes. various things that she ended up really being into. She's always been a gamer, uh, so. But uh, I think she, she and I both found it very validating to have uh, a relationship where we could just, you know, we embrace our gamer kids, basically, or inner gamer kids, and that's been a very strong part of our relationship. It's good that it's been working out for you guys. I'm glad that this puzzle is a bit more of a challenge than the one I had you guys try last night. This piece I'm moving around right now looks like part of, like, hair and face of this guy. 
Um, yeah, there you go. There. We can probably rearrange this just a little bit to make it a little clearer. Carbon here is on the left. Doing things that have noticeable patterns like the cape. Yeah, that's usually a good place to go. Great, now we got a large part of this done. Pretty good at looking at things and realizing where we where they should supposed to be. But in English. Yeah, sometimes if you just look at the pieces, you'll notice a lot of intricate details that fit mm -hmm. together. Should it's freezing out here? Oh, oops, oops. I swear to God, she has me, dude. I forgot I have cheese that's right here. I, I, feel like... I forgot cheese I was going to say, I thought I got a comment out of context there because I heard. Uh... I heard Devin go, I swear she's got to be muted, and then, oh, I forgot I had some Cheez-Its there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I had Cheez-Its because I got focused on the puzzle. And I'm a monster. Oh, yeah. I'm living it up over here. I once had a, uh, a jigsaw puzzle that was, um, it was like a 1,000 piece puzzle where the pattern was another jigsaw puzzle. There's a, a specifically, yeah. it was, the image itself was a jigsaw puzzle where every piece was a different color and they were all shaped like jigsaw puzzle pieces. And then the puzzle, it's the actual puzzle was cut differently. So there you had pieces of pieces of this puzzle. It was they build it. They build it as the uh, world's hardest, uh, world's hardest puzzle. Although I'm sure there were far harder ones out there. It was pretty cruel, though. That sounds cool. Sounds like a mind screw. Uh huh. It's pretty much what it was. It was like whoever came up with that idea was just a, a sheer sadistic genius. That gives me an idea. Whoops. Whoop. Sorry. Trying to trying to get things arranged in such a way that this isn't blocking everything. Uh -huh. <sighs> I really just like the, the composition of this piece, you know. It's very well laid out. 
Here we go. So, um, Kyra is actually playing a game called Potion Craft. Have you guys heard of it? No. I it's, don't think so. It's a new, a new-ish game. I think it's actually brand new. Um, the it's really simple. You are making potions. You're just a guy who makes potions, and you have. Uh, it has a really interesting, kind of unique way of doing it. It's a system where you're. Uh, Basically, moving throughout uh, th around in a map uh, by uh, mixing your potions together, and I just got a bit of a preview of it before I came online, um, and it's it's interesting. I might have to try it out myself at some point. So she's uh, playing that um, and switching to this every so often. story about the puzzle shape puzzle just gave me an idea. Oh, are you going to inflict it, inflict something like that on everyone else now? Oh. Mm, not yet. Bring it on. It looks like all of the orange, yellowish sky pieces are all going to be connected, so I'm trying to put those together. Let's see. Um, there's actually three different spaces on the on the board that have significant amounts of that. Got a connection right over there, though. Uh, why'd you have to go and make me feel like an idiot? I'm good at that. I forgot that depth doesn't exist on a 2D image. So you were. It's okay. I do a stupid sometimes too. So so you can say you were out of your depth. Oh, you always have those ready for me. <laughs> My wife could tell you all about the pun, the pun wars. I think I told you about a uh, one that. I had with her uh, with her dad a while back, huh? Yeah, yeah, that one was pretty good. I'm proud of that story. Hey, I would be too. Uh, same to be honest. You just said you, um, Mothman, you just said you uh, forgot to chat cheese that's next to you. I forgot that I had a bowl of ice cream next to me and it's all melted now. Oh, that's oh, the no. worst. That happens to me all the time. That's so sad. <laughs> Hey, it's delicious. Cream. It's delicious failure. Oh, I know where that one goes. Now you ha now you don't have a bowl of ice cream. You have a bowl of melt cream Oops. with peanut butter. Well, I mean, now I can see it. So now basically, a peanut butter milk. I'm so sad these pieces don't go together. There I was, I thought I was doing something cool. I always get so sad when that happens, when I see two pieces that look like they should go together, but they don't. It's like you've disappointed your family. <laughs> I do that all. It's like It's like when you have to sit down and have that talk with your parents, and they're like, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. 
gosh, I have those more with my friends than I do my parents. Like mom, dad, um, I, I just need to come out and say I cheated at Yahtzee. <laughs> I put I put the wrong puzzle piece in the wrong spot. I'm so sorry, mom. It won't have it again. I tr trust me. I'll never touch another puzzle again. Just violent something. Bro, this is a funky looking shape piece right here. Like, why it looks like that? Help, I accidentally a jigsaw puzzle. And see where this piece goes. Like, is that a is that a blue eyes white dragon at the bottom there? Uh, yeah. I don't recall exactly what that's called. Um, it's like a like a lizard, what? like a lizard alligator across something or other. I'm gonna try to see if I can find this out. Oh, it might be a crocolisk. Hmm. No, I don't think that's what it is. This would be so much more difficult if rotation was on. Oh, yeah, goodness. Yeah, I, I thought about that. I was like, no, probably not. Let's not. Because I'm, oh, I'm barely managing over here as it is. Don't worry, I don't put rotation on my puzzles either. That would be a little much for me. I mean, in real life, you don't have a choice. <laughs> the puzzles are how, I mean, the pieces are how they are. Sometimes they'll be upside down. I'm still trying to figure out what that thing was. It's pretty it. obvious what it is at this point. It's a thing. Well, okay. If you say so. Hey, y'all, I see a piece like in the middle of the puzzle I'm trying to grab. So if it moves, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to grab it. But I see where it goes. I just can't grab it. Did you set it to one Yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling over here. That's okay, we all are. Stupid, I got the piece in. Imagine if in real life to grab a piece, you would have to move like the whole puzzle. Oh man, that doesn't go there. Oh man, that doesn't go there. There it is. Oh, okay. I found I figured it out. 
Quaternia's pet is a is a warp stalker. A what? It's called a warp stalker. It's a shoot. What do they call it? Um, warp stalker family of hunter pets have the cunning specialization. They were first introduced in the Burning Crusade expansion. Void elf hunters start with a unique warp uh, void warp stalker that cannot be tamed elsewhere. Notable tames include Zormuz and Umbrellas. Um, that doesn't actually help a whole lot, but uh, it's it's basically a big um, it's basically just a big lizard, but uh, it has the ability to um, teleport. Does it know how to play rock paper scissors lizard spot? I think you might be able to teach it that. Whoa. Whoa, what? Hey, Dino. What's up? Yo. We're doing jigsaw puzzles, my New Yorker friend. Do you want to join us? Jigsaw puzzles on what? Hell no. I got to play knockout. <laughs> good luck. What do you mean, good luck? Uh, Devin was you having a little harder with it. Or... Say that again, I'm sorry. Devin was having a hard time with it earlier. Oh no, I already know the cheat code to that. Because it happened to me a couple weeks ago. What would that be? See, at first, when I couldn't get into the game, I thought it was my PlayStation. So I restarted it. Didn't work. I went to see if anyone was streaming. And I seen people on Rhino stream talking about how they couldn't get in. So I said, yo, I just went to the main menu, just kept on pressing X, 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 just like until every time I would say error, and then eventually it got me in. And then someone asked me the other day, I was kind of on my plane, and I told them the same thing that happened to me a couple weeks ago, which actually worked for them too. No, I, I was able to match make just fine. The game just doesn't work. What do you mean? Like it's just glitchy or like it's fucked up? Like, my game just would randomly stop drawing frames for a couple seconds. Really? I never... That's weird. Yeah, it was acting like it was running on a potato, but my computer can run all sorts of really high-powered games just fine. Maybe it's only for, um... Maybe it's happening for right. easy people? See where you go. Why won't you go? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think it might have something to do with the pizza slices, because whenever they add collectibles to the game, it gets all wonky. Really? I haven't noticed that. That's weird. I do think there might be something with your computer. It's not it. It's not like there's a. It's not a problem or anything, but uh, it does sound to me a lot like what your your like your computer was doing, much like what mine was when um, I started playing KOC. The um, problem I had as I've explained to a few people, is that uh, uh, I would get random hitching and I'd get, uh, you know, it'd be acting like it was lagging really badly when I had a better ping. So if my, the lower my ping, the worse my gameplay was. Okay. It was kind of the opposite of what everybody else had. And I discovered that it was because um, since the game is so CPU heavy with all the physics simulations and everything, uh, my CPU was actually not keeping up with things, and it was actually causing its own lag. Uh, and I just I figured this out, and I went ahead and upgraded my computer because you know I've been meaning to for some time anyway, and that was kind of an impetus for me to do that. So I got myself a new computer, and it's been running much much better since. It's not like it is. It's not like it's perfect, but um, I've had much less trouble with it uh, doing that weird kind of stuff. And to be clear, I could play a lot of other games no problem. So there's something specific about the way Knockout City is, uh, you know, the way it plays that causes it to behave differently than a lot of other games. But 
that was my experience anyway. This kind of sounds like you might be having something similar. Well, because I'm guessing the game runs 10 times better on computer. Yeah, like, but... I, I see what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. It's just fucking... It's just crazy. Yeah, but... It shouldn't that... be like... It should be like that for those systems instead. Yeah, but that makes no sense, though. Like, it, it shouldn't be more resource-intensive because there are other games that do way much more stuff than it does. Well, just because it's not necessarily... Well, first of all, there's two different parts of that. One is that it's... You can't never you can't necessarily compare a game like KOC to a game like uh, GTA in terms of what it's doing because uh, GTA is a lot more about a large large scale world simulation. Uh, there's relatively little going on in that game that requires high you know high speed high precision uh, physics. Those are two yeah, very different kinds of the problems. Same, on the same breath though, on the same breath, it's a whole fucking. There's a lot going on at once, believe it or not, in that type of game now. But, just... and that's true. But the uh, there's one big difference, and that's that um, KOC is extremely intolerant of lag because of the kind of game it is. You have to be able to... Um, it has to be able to do things in a much faster time frame in terms of calculating physics and... Um, uh, responding to events and everything, and doing this online uh, a whole lot faster than virtually any other game out there. Because uh, virtually every other game out there has a way of uh, tolerating lag and still making it a good experience. And the less, uh, less attention you have to pay to that in the code, the easier it is to write a game like that. And I think Valance actually pulled off something really cool by uh, you know making this run as well as it does, because it's the kind of thing that a lot of companies have tried to do before and had a really, really hard time doing. Um, and like I said, it's not perfect. And there's a lot of issues with it, but um, the, it is a very different uh, problem domain that they're working on there uh, than a lot of other games. And so, like I said, you can you can play GTA Six or G, sorry GTA Five uh, on your PC. Uh, with it, with this the settings all set up, and that just basically means that your graphics card is up to um, is up to snuff. The actual amount of CPU work that GTA is doing is fairly small, and it's also keep in mind it's also written by a much larger company. They've got a lot more people working on it who are able to put um, you know they're basically able to do a lot of cool stuff with it. That you know, Velen is a much smaller team. Uh, they're not simulating a, a huge world. They're Giving you a very small, self-contained, um, uh, high-speed action game. Holy basically. shit! You can write an essay on this motherfucker. I'm a software developer. I um, I know a bit about this. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Try I'm not judging you or making fun of you. But goddamn, that's very intricate. No, I trust me. I actually, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this to you, but I actually work at Electronic Arts, and um, I had my team. Uh, my team was actually supporting Knockout City until relatively recently when they decided to split from EA. Wow, idiots! They're stupid. Now look at them. Yeah, I got my I got my own uh, feelings about that, but it was their decision. Uh, I just hope that they do get some of these issues fixed because you know I love the game too, but uh, it's getting to the point where I'm starting to have a hard time playing it and. Uh, uh, and I, I typically have pretty good pings, and I've got a good computer. It plays it really well. Uh, so if I'm starting to have a lot of trouble with it, too, then, yeah. I also wonder how many people did they lose uh, during the transition just because people decided, especially the newbies, decided they just don't want to go through the pain of uh, uh, doing the epic migration. That's so. It's so. That's retarded. I think those people who are crying about that are so stupid. Because if you have an account that's on your system already, all it, all it is is a simple press of a button. Well, I don't know. It, my my experience probably isn't typical, but uh, I had to go through like uh, twenty different steps to get that thing to work uh, the other evening. Really? Yeah, yeah. There are people who have lost their accounts, man, and like they've lost yeah, all yeah, their I, progress. I remember reading about it a long time ago when they started first. Like said they were going to do it, but all for me it was just a simple press of a button because I played uh, 
uh, Rumbleverse and whatever it's called. And obviously Fortnite, but I hate Fortnite to death. Well, I, uh, um, oh, and I also had an Epic League account. Too, so it's easy. I, I also have, play Rocket League. I have an Epic account because I got both Tetris Effect and Fall Guys on it. Uh, so the oh, problem wasn't too. problem wasn't having um, an Epic account. Uh, the problem with me apparently was that for some reason the uh, Epic sign in services didn't trust who I was. So I had to uh, let's see, what did I do the other evening? I had to um, I had to sign into my account even though I was uh, you know in the launcher and asked me to sign in even though I already had the launcher open with my library visible. So I had to do that. Then it's like, okay, we want you to verify your identity. Click on all the things that look like rabbits. Okay, now click on all the rabbits that are in grass. Okay, now we're going to send you a six-digit code via your tech, your your phone. I entered that. Okay, click on more rabbits. Now click on more rabbits. Okay, now we're going to send you a six-digit code and email. And then the uh, finally finally get past that. Then I have to do the okay. I agree to have my stuff transferred. Then the uh, Epic overlay crashes, and then KOC crashes. Then KOC decides it wants to go do an update and restart, and it fails to restart. And it just kept going like this. It took me the better part of 10 minutes to get the stupid process done. And if anyone else is having that kind of problem and isn't going to be as patient about it as I tend to be, um, then, yeah, I can imagine they're going to lose some people. Yeah, but you know what? Regardless, they have to make the transition or they're going to lose their stuff anyway. So you might as well just do it. Well, yeah. Here's the other thing. is that you can't, you can't count on people to read. Um, and people do sometimes just take genuine breaks from the game and they don't get these messages. Uh, if they don't come back in a cer certain amount of time, they will lose their stuff and it won't have been necessarily their fault or their decision. And that's my thing. That's my thing is the window for transition is really small for something as big as this where you're just going to lose all your progress. It's not even like they're using their servers or anything like that. People are thinking that... Uh... Oh, Epic servers suck, and I'm like, yo, it has nothing to do with their servers. I, I forgot what, what their little entanglement is between them two. I forgot. Epic, you, you, you. Uh, Epic is uh, in the habit of uh, giving uh, real sweet deals to developers for um, uh, exclusivity and stuff like that. And I mean, yeah, it makes good business for them, but at the same time, uh, I'm not a fan of them because they have been notoriously unreliable. Um, Stability-wise, and also, uh, there have been some cases where they simply haven't paid their partners, quote-unquote, uh, what they promised. There are, cons so there are also conspiracy theories out there that they are Chinese spyware or something. Well, they're going to say that about anybody. They say that about EA. So I, mean, I, don't... I mean, Tencent only has, like, they don't even have like that big of a share of that big. That's fucking hilarious. That's that's it's not my thing. My thing is that. that's not my thing though. My thing is the fact that this it's a relatively short window of time that you have to transfer your stuff. I think it's like a couple months. I think they said end of, end of December or something. So yeah, that'd be relatively short. There, there are people who are going to take a break from the game, forget about it, and they never get this message that you have to transfer your stuff. I mean, I don't know. I understand about the breaks and shit, but who fucking takes a break for months? I mean, I personally don't when well, I play games. If I, if I love the game, I play that shit almost every night. Yeah, people get burned out, though. I mean, I... I... I've ta I love Minecraft to death, but I've taken six month breaks from Minecraft before. Yeah. I mean, for with me personally, if I love the game, I'm gonna play that bitch every day at least for just a tiny little bit, just even the slightest little bit, no, and even just to play one match. And that's understandable. Yeah. I do stuff like that too, but sometimes it's good to do other things. Yeah, of course. That's why I have like a fucking rotation of games that I play. We're getting pretty close to the end of this one, guys. Mm -hmm. Indeed. But I remember there were times where this game was lagging as fuck, and I was like, I thought it was my internet. Meanwhile, it was the fucking game.
And I'm like, yo, for a fucking game, it's not even that. Like, I mean, I'm not no developer, so I don't know. But like you said, they, they make games like GTA. But no, so then it could be because of the funding between the companies or the, whoever the fuck. But these games like this shouldn't have these many problems. Well, so, like I said, I can tell you all about why this game actually has more problems than most of their games. And it isn't, it isn't necessarily, it doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the code or uh, the developers the or anything like that. No, I wouldn't think so. They have plenty of funding to do this. They've got a really good, talented crew of people. I think it's simply the kind of game it's trying to be. It's. I don't. But they don't go that in depth with every with anything they do in this game. It's pretty, you know, like a straightforward fucking. You know, and they never, they don't add enough things to make it seem crazier. Well, aside from changing out the game modes, but no, the core game itself. If you just pay attention next time you throw a curve, uh, and watch. Watch that ball as it flies toward your your opponent. Just okay. just uh, take a, just you know, kind of just watch that and kind of think about what it's doing, and realize that the game is calculating all that in real time, and calculating everything that it has to go. You know that ball has to go around or through, uh, and keeping track of where the other player is so it can adjust the path and all that stuff. And it's doing this very quickly in real time. Uh, in such a way that you get this, you know, if things are working correctly, it just looks like it's very simple. That's actually kind of the beauty of that uh, type of code, is that you can make something that is inherently hugely complex uh, and difficult to do and just make it look really easy. I think it's actually a compliment to, to Bellin if you can say, this looks so straightforward. Because it, in truth, it isn't. This is one of the most difficult problems for anyone to solve in software. Um, really? Mm-hmm. So, and so uh, that's, I guess I really don't. I guess I really don't know shit about these type of games. Well, it's. it's I mean, like when it comes to uh, you know developing developing them and shit like that. I guess a, I really don't know nothing. Well, I mean, uh, it's why I like to talk about it because uh, you know I'm not a game developer myself, but I'm. You know, I've uh, been in the industry for quite some time. You know, I know I know a fair bit about what goes into this. And working on the service side of things, of course, um, I get to see kind of from an outside perspective what goes into making these games. Um, and it's... I guess the best way I can put it is that it's a little unfair, I think, to um, people like Velen that, you know, everyone is so critical of their game because, you know, it they are dealing with very real problems. They, it's obvious that the gameplay experience is degraded and you're having a lot of lag. You know, you're throwing the ball and it's not actually flying where you tell it to or you're getting rolled back and stuff. It's a kind of a, um, kind of a necessary evil of the game just because of the type of game it is. Uh, but there's a lot worse. They could be doing a lot worse. And, um, but the thing is that the kind of the art of writing good, good games, good programming in general is that it, you've done your job well, if nobody can actually figure out how you did it or more to the point, people don't even think about it. Like, you know, you're, you're playing KOC. Generally, you're not thinking about all the physics that's going on or why something didn't work correctly. Your experience Absolutely is either not. you hit, either, you either hit somebody with that ball or you missed, and then you can try to figure out why they why you missed. But it's all done in the in the frame of, you know, here's the game I'm playing, uh, not oh because the program did this or I had you, know, you, you have lag spikes. You understand what rollback is, but uh, you understand it from the point of view of hey, I'm the player. I got rolled yeah, back. Yeah, That's a player. bad experience. And so when I look at that, I go, okay, I understand what they did. They even have developer blogs where they describe, like, here's how the rollback system works. And um, so you get people to uh, to read those and they understand what's going on. I think it helps to uh, kind of, you know, give them a little sympathy, I suppose, because at least then you can sort of have an idea of just how difficult a problem they're trying to solve. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's the, the cruel reality of it is, that's all fine and good, but you're still dealing with a uh, 
uh, a less than ideal game experience if you're getting rolled back. And that is just the kind of, that's just the nature of things that they have to deal with. And everybody keeps going, well, why don't they fix this? And, you know, for a while I was in the Discord saying, you know, do you have any idea just how hard it is to fix a problem like that? To even figure out why it's not working in the way in, correctly in the first place? Um, software developers all the time have people coming, going, uh, uh, hey, this thing's broken. And they're like, yeah, we know. We're trying to figure out why. And so we'll go fix it already. And, um, you know, it's just, it's it's one kind of thankless thing, I guess, for a lot of people because uh, they don't really realize what it actually takes to do this. Um, and then the... Oh, right. uh, What's even what's even worse about it is that, uh, you know, sympathetic as one might be about it, you still, you know, the success or failure of your game really does hinge on how good of an experience your players have, and you may not necessarily be able to solve that problem uh, so, so that everybody's happy. You know, people with great great pings in KOC have a better game experience. People who are lagging more, just tend not to be able to play as well, and that's just kind of the problem with the internet as a whole. So, um, and KOC is just very sensitive to it, and I'm not really sure what else they could do to make it better, but just keep plugging away at it and seeing if they can find other ways to compensate for lag um, and whatnot. Anyway, I kind of ranted on that a bit, but uh, you kind of get where I'm going, right? It's a damn loop. I never thought of it like how you fucking act, you know? I Like you said, I'm just a gamer. So it's totally different. Well, and I'm not saying that your opinion or your uh, feelings about it are any less valid. You're, you're the person who pays for the game. Or KOC's case, you're the one who might occasionally go pay for... Um, Pull the bucks or something, but uh, you're the one who's playing it, and you're you're the person whose opinion matters the most. Yeah. Good job on that, guys. It took us an hour and nine seconds. Almost exactly an hour. That's not bad. All right, my turn. Yeah, set up us set up us the bomb. Huh. Our uh, local baseball team just made the playoffs for the first time in 21 years. All right, friends, I'm posting the link in home base. Okay. I'll pass it on to fire. I keep forgetting that I have food next to me, that I keep getting focused. Then I look, oh, Jesus, and I forget again. Oh, what do you think of this God. puzzle, Allison? Going to end my life. It's kind of intimidating at first, but once I look at the picture, it looks pretty easy. Yeah, it looks hard, but it's actually really easy. Oh, they're color coordinated. Sweet. Nice. So we know the other corner. Man, that's hard to look at, though. <laughs> yeah, it's painful to my eyeballs. My retinas are burning. Now, the hardest part here is going to be the verticality of it. Yeah, that's going to be shapes only.
But this is just step one. Also, I fear for anybody who's colorblind. They would have an extremely hard time with this. It's okay. That's true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not colorblind, but uh, I apologize to anyone who is. I might become colorblind after looking at this. Yeah. It doesn't help that you picked a blue background for this. No, you can change the background. Just hit the T key. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah, okay. yeah it's global. Like it, 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 it doesn't matter what I have my background color set to. Yours is always going to be the default until you change it. Uh, changing it to the darkest color possible makes that a lot easier to look at. Really, changing it to black makes it harder for me to look at. Oh, I, um, I prefer high contrast personally. I think changing it to white made it easier for me to see. Hmm. With how many colors, I feel like anything would be a high contrast. And I think that's why they let you change the color of the background so the pieces can stand out better. Hmm. We have some farming related pictures we could put in as uh, um, for our next puzzle. Got uh, got one of uh, our two dogs standing next to each other. That could work. We also have a truck full of cucumbers. Of this piece I'm waving around right here kind of looks like the aliens from Toy Story. The claw. The claw. You saved our lives. We are internally grateful. Would you please just leave me alone? You saved our lives. All right, I think we got the whole left side done. Woo. Now to pretend like we can figure out where these go. Yay! We smart. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, if you can just match up the color, the, the shapes will fall into place pretty easy. Like I said, this looks harder than it is. Yeah, I think just getting the getting the edges done is the hard part, really. But we've only just begun. Do you like this puzzle, Allison? Yeah.
I'm having so much fun, guys. Is that sarcasm? No, it's like actually. I'm having fun. This is nice and relaxing, actually. That's good. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is kind of a natural way to do this. What's the natural way to do this? Is just uh, go basically from left to right or left right to left. And I'm working on going through and filling out the edge pieces. So at least we got a little bit of a template of what colors are in what room. Whistling in the background. I'm sorry, that's that's me. <laughs> I'm whistling along to the music I'm playing. Uh, like it hey, sounded really far uh, away. And I'm just oh, like, it's, whistling? It, it was it was me and sorry. Uh, it probably Ooh. sounded very weird over the line here. Did did you say something to me? I was uh, I was going to ask you. Had you uh, did you see the link I posted um, of, for the uh, Studio Ghibli music? Oh yeah, I saw that. I was thinking you could put that on your stream, um, have it in the background for this if you didn't have something else playing already. Uh, I I feel like that'll get me copyright strike. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Did they have a? Uh... You're probably right. It probably would. I was just looking up to see if uh, they had an explanation of their, whether they were, uh, you know, this particular rendition was copyrighted or not. They're, they say it is. So, oh, well. I'm listening to my playlist anyway. It's playing Little Red Corvette right now. I really like Prince, can you tell? Hmm. I liked Prince before it was cool to like Prince. So, you know, before I was born. Very swag of you. Isn't it? I'm uber hipster like that. Dang right, you doobie. There we go. Got it.
wrong one. A lot of green pieces. That's a lot of green. Piece. There's a bunch of these that look like they should fit together exactly, but they're just it's slightly, not... slightly off. Ah. There's just one problem with doing this. It gives me flashbacks to work because uh, the the way that pieces move around and stuff on this board is exactly like the um, like one of the tools that we use uh, for uh, brainstorming at work. Uh, you know, brainstorming sessions and stuff. And you actually have a virtual post-it board and things like that. We can move post-it notes around and write on them and stick them in various places. It would be just like if you were in uh, physical office doing it. And, uh, so this is just basically the same thing, but with puzzle pieces. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just, uh, uh, something I'm I noticing. I grab this freaking purple piece because it's the last freaking purple piece and I can't grab it because it What's your guys' favorite colors? I like yellow and purple. I like purple, pink, and blue. I'm mostly a blue and uh, kind of blue and indigo myself. Now, this has to be a trick question. I like every single color I can paint with. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? My favorite color is blood. 
wonderful choice. Personal favorite. That, that dark, velvety red. I know, it's such a pretty color. Oh, where did I hope? I didn't realize that Dino left. I hope I didn't push him out with uh, explaining what I knew about the uh, uh, problems of uh, KOC and all. He seemed like he went really quiet after that. I think he was just focusing on his game. Okay. You know, when I talk about stuff like that, I never mean to uh, make anyone feel bad about, like, I don't want them to feel like they're ignorant or um, uninformed. I mean, oftentimes they are uninformed, but it's not my intent to make them feel that way, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? I don't know. It just, your delivery was just funny for me for some reason. Yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't care if people get offended by what I say, so why should you? Not quite what I had in mind, but oh well. There we go. This, past, yeah, this really pastel sad. green teal yeah. hurts my eyes. Sorry, I'm looking around. For your Let's kitty see. cat, Max. This is going to be so mean. Looking for your next, uh, uh, your next torture device? Well. It's a long story.
Hey. I don't realize I'm holding my breath while doing this until I almost suffocate. Yeah, try not to do that. Hey. People keep moving the uh, puzzle out of the way when I'm about to put a piece down. I'm sorry, I keep trying to grab things that are inside of it and then it keeps moving it. <laughs> I promise it's not on purpose. I blame society, personally. It's just like real life, really. You know? Yeah. Blink reach for something. Life. Reach for something. It's not quite there. Reach for something. Get something else. There it goes again. It seems like that always... Ha it happens frequently when uh, there's a whole bunch of pieces being... Uh, being placed all at once. Alright, give me a second. I gotta set up this next one. Uh, would you guys like me to put one up? Yeah, sure. Uh, you guys gotta choose. Um, uh, dogs, cucumbers, daisies, or ducklings? I'm going to put whatever y'all want. Ducklings. Ooh, okay. Let me get this one up on Imgur real quick. Yo, hold on. I gotta put on a jacket right quick. Yeah, I'll be right back. In your house? Yeah. It's freezing. I need to wait for stupid ads on stupid Imgur. Oh. Honestly, I'm surprised the internet is doing it as well as it's doing. You know, considering. Okay, I'm creating a new puzzle here. Assuming, come on. This UI need it, this UI definitely leaves a few things to be desired. Oh, I just realized it's 102. Yeah, but it's the weekend. I have to be at the school at 9.45 for competition stuff. So I think I'm going to skip out this next one. Alright. Thanks for hanging out with us anyway. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Love to do it again sometimes. Absolutely. All right. Night, guys. Good night. Okay. New puzzle's up. I posted it in uh, home base. This is a 450-piece puzzle. Interesting. This one would be a good challenge.
are these your ducklings? Yeah, these were from a couple of years ago, I believe. Game has a, excuse me, the game has an annoying tendency to pick up a piece and then not drop it when I tell it to. Hmm.
Yeah, this one wouldn't work out. That's alright. This is a nice picture. My wife takes good photos. It looks very professional. She's got a good camera. Her dad's also a uh, semi-professional photographer. It looks we like... Say... Go ahead. It looks like something you'd see in a textbook. Well, it's good promo material, if nothing else. It looks like... I don't know. It looks like a, a textbook teaching you about biology for ducks or something. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. I'll, I think uh, the fire will take that as a compliment. I tried to get her to join the uh, the chat, but she said she wasn't feeling very social. I sent her an invite to the Discord as well. Well, she should feel free to join whenever she'd like. She's welcome with us anytime she wants.
So are these girl books or are they admittance? You really aren't going to be able to know at that age. They these would have been just out of the out of the egg like one or two days. Uh, it's very rare that you're going to have a breed that you can actually sex immediately. They're very uh, pretty. If you if you're a professional uh, veterinarian or whatnot. Uh, you can sex them. It's called vent sexing, where you basically have to stick something up their bum, and you can then figure out if they're male or female uh, that way by basically feeling how far in it goes. Um, not exactly easy, not pleasant, and it's actually very dangerous if you do it wrong. It can uh, they can kill them. So generally, you're not going to know what their gender is until they get old enough to. Um, in some breeds, they'll have different colors when they uh, start developing their plumage. And in other cases, you just have to wait until their voices start changing. Uh, that's the way it is most of the time. Because then uh, males have uh, kind of a lower pitched, kind of raspy quack sound. And um, females uh, will have higher pitched, uh, louder, um, kind of almost honking quacks. And they're the ones that you typically hear. We hear them both because they're louder and because there are always more of them. That's a couple of edge pieces that seem to be missing. Can't seem to find these last few corner pieces. Yeah, they're, uh, they're being a little evasive. You gotta sneak up on them, trick them, make them think they're hi hiding. I'll make them think I'm going for an inner piece and then bam, get them right there. Mm hmm. We gotta back them into a, a corner, huh? They disguise themselves as in pieces. Okay, actually finished the bottom.
Okay. We just have one right edge piece left to go. Where goes it? Yo, we did a boy and some girls. I can no longer have to feel on edge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ether. What? How do you feel about Shania Twain? Uh, don't listen to her, so can't really say much.
So I was just reading up on something here uh, that the YouTube the YouTube video that I linked to uh, for the Studio Ghibli music is done by a group called uh, BGMC Cafe Music, and it's not completely clear, but uh, another channel that refers to them says that their stuff can be used free of charge. Uh, it's uh, royalty free. It's not. It sounds like maybe that's true for all of their original stuff because they do their own original music as well. But for stuff that's compositions of other people's music, that might not apply. So you'd probably still you might still have to get permission from uh, Studio Ghibli to actually uh, play this stuff. But to be perfectly honest, I doubt anyone would care. This is the the channel bills itself as uh, we do this so that people can relax at work and. Uh, uh, you know, wake up in the morning to coffee or something like that. So, I don't know. You wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Yeah, P. Diddy wouldn't be the uh, person I'd think of with this music. Looks like that should go together like that. This is actually proving to be a bigger challenge than the last ones. There are a lot more details that don't just completely line up right away. Yeah, this is a tough one.
Okay, I think I finally found a, deter a definitive uh, answer on that. It says, use the BGMC library, music for videos. You can use high quality, royalty free, for actually music of BGMC records for use everywhere from YouTube, podcast, to commercial use. They don't, uh, the, this particular website does not mention that you have to um, uh, subscribe to anything. About using our music. Available. The music is provided in the BGMC library, is available. If in stores, music provided is also available. And regarding Instagram stories, Facebook stories, and TikTok, the music that is searched and displayed in each service is the music we officially provide. So it is available in each service. Okay. So actually now I'm not now I'm more confused than ever. Oh. I'll go back to focusing on the on the ducks because the ducks are simple.
progress has suddenly sped up. It's because I'm organizing the pieces. Good idea.
That's kind of interesting is that all the different colors in here, these stufflings are not all that different color wise. It's just the lighting in the photo. You can definitely see the difference between some of them. Uh, some of them obviously are lighter colored than others, but the difference isn't that huge. We have one that looks like it's basically aqua colored or uh, purple or whatnot. It's just weird lighting. Makes this a very interesting picture, though. Really neat. I'm going to refresh here real quick. Okay, now that looks just as confused as it did before I refreshed. All right, we just got the center of the uh, puzzle linked up to one of the edges. That was very satisfying.
Doesn't the pieces being organized help? It does a bit.
Isn't it funny how you sometimes just get into these uh, modes where everything is fitting together and then you suddenly lose it? Yeah.
I love how there's a very limited number of options here, and yet it seems like none of them fit. Mm-hmm. That's the frustrating part of the puzzle. Or basically to the point where it looks like you should be able to figure everything out, and yet it's still hard. We're almost there, though. And then I gotta go to bed. Same.
And then all of a sudden, it speeds up again. Puzzles be like that sometimes. You just went for the one I was going for. Sorry.
There it is. Hmm. Well done. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was a chat that was a surprisingly challenging puzzle. It was. Well, that was fun, but that's going to be it for us here for tonight at Dummy Core. I hope everybody enjoyed watching us do some jigsaw puzzles tonight. It's a little relaxing after kind of a stressful day, but that's going to be it. Signing off. I'm Devin. And I'm sleepy. And I'm sleepy, too. Kiefer's going to get whatever. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yep. Later today. It might not have been what you're looking for, but you're watching Dummy Core.